In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus NiNO32. This is sodium hydroxide plus nickel 2 nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. We can see that we have two nitrate ions here and only one here. So let's put a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate. Now I have two sodium atoms here and only one here. Put 2 here, balances the sodium. I have two hydroxide groups, but that's good because I have two of them here. Nickels, same, one on each side. We're done. This is the molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So for sodium hydroxide, this is a strong base. It's a strong electrolyte. It's going to dissociate into its ions. Nitrates are very soluble. Put an AQ. And then we have sodium nitrate. That's another nitrate, AQ. And then for hydroxides, in general, hydroxides are insoluble, especially when they're bonded to a transition metal. So this is going to be a solid and it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate when these two substances react. So we have the states for the substances. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Sodium's in group one that has a one plus charge. The hydroxide ion always has a one minus. So I have two sodium ions and I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Plus two goes to everything, two hydroxide ions. And then nickel, it's a transition metal, so we need to look at what it's bonded to to figure out its ionic charge. Nitrates are always 1 minus, and we have two of them, so this has to be 2 plus. That's why we call it nickel 2 nitrate. So we have nickel 2 plus ion, plus we have two of these nitrate ions, NO3 minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, we have two sodium ions, and then two of the nitrate ions. For the nickel 2 hydroxide, we're not going to split that apart because it's a solid. So we're just going to have NiOH2, nickel 2 hydroxide. And this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. I can see in the reactants here, I have two sodium ions. In the products, I also have two sodium ions. They haven't changed cross them out. Here I have two nitrate ions, two nitrate ions in the products, cross those out. What's left is our net ionic equation for NaOH plus NiNO3 2. I'll clean this up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus NiNO3 2. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two negative charges here, positive two, they're going to cancel out to give us a neutral compound. And if you count the atoms up, they're the same on both sides. So mass is conserved as well. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion written first in the equation. It doesn't really matter. It's the same net ionic equation. Might look a little nicer. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus nickel 2 nitrate. Thanks for watching.